Hello and welcome to highlights of the 8th edition of Brabant Appeal, La Flèche Brabanson. 141.2 kilometres awaited the riders starting in Lenik and heading down towards the finishing circuit in Overijsa. Three laps of 21.9 kilometres in total, but a brutal day with 24 climbs in total. We had early attacks from Maria Novoloskaya and Christina Tonetti. They were nullified as the peloton began their three laps of a local lumpy circuit. Nine of the 24 climbs had been completed. Constant accelerations as they battled for positions at the front. Blanca Vass and Lucinda Brand very animated. Unfortunately, a crash of Carolina Anderson held up world cyclocross champion Fem Van Empel. She'd make it back, but we would be right out of position coming into the next climb where Elise Chabé launched her move, chased hard by Liana Lipper and Amanda Spratt. Marta Cavalli at the back of the group for FDJ Suez as she continues her comeback from that crash in last year's Tour de France Femme Avic Swift. Marlon Royce was very animated at the front of the race. Large groups tailed off, which also included Fem Van Empel, who was battling to get back into the mix. Onto the Mosca Scrat, Liana Lippert, very animated, always performs well in Raban Chapelle. The clouds, though, were descending as the peloton went through for their final lap. A strong group remained at the front. Volerin, Garcia, Persco, Shabby, Spratt, Van Androy, Costa, Royce, Music, Harris and others. Marlon Royce, though, up the pace on the Hurt Strat and she would pull a small group clear. And what a group it would be. At the top of the climb with Elise Shabe giving chase along with Margot van Patebeke from the Park Hotel of Valkenburg team who was doing an outstanding ride. Shirin van Anroy was trying to get the group working. Persico, Royce, Shabby, van Patebeke, the surprise rider in the group. 14 kilometers to go. The gap was sitting at 18 seconds. Onto the Mosca strap for the final climb. And interestingly, behind defending champion Damie Vollering was attacking the group and taking with her Liana Lippert. For Margot van Pachtenbeke, she would latch on to the express train of Vollering and Lippert as they came past. They made contact with the front of the race, giving SD Works two riders in the leading group. Out of the chase behind, Kristen Faulkner was trying to get clear. The group had the leaders in their sight as they hit the s bot in Overreiser for the final time. Marlen Royce was leading out the sprint. Lippert, Shabe, and Persico in the group. It would be Damie Vollering that launched her sprint first, but Sylvia Persico knew when to launch her sprint to the line, came through to take the victory for UAE ADQ in Italy ahead of Damie Vollering with the Movistar rider and German champion Liana Lippert in third. Celebrations all round for the UAE ADQ team. They head in to the Ardennes Classics of Amstel Gold and La Flèche Roland with a huge boost in confidence. Sylvia Persico gets her account off the ground for her new team and a phenomenal victory for the Italian. Your top 10 looks like this. Sylvia Persico takes it from Damie Vollering and Liana Lippert. Shabe, Van Anroy, Royce and Van Pachtebeke up there in seventh. Victor Alberto leads in Soraya Paladin and Mishka Bredevold in the group sprint behind. Join us for action from Amstel Gold this Sunday.